Hello Pisces, welcome to your second half of September reading. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As you guys can see here, I've already laid out some cards. I did a pre-shuffle off camera just to kind of save us some time and to get us started. But I haven't flipped over the rest of the cards as you can see. So I kind of have an idea of what we're getting ourselves into right now. But I didn't want to see the whole thing just yet. Alright, so we're going to take a look at what happened in the past. How did you two meet? And what became of this situation? And moving forward, what is Spirit's advice concerning you and this connection with this person at this time? This person could be a soulmate. This could person could be someone from your past. Someone who you are maybe now getting to know and hoping to get to know better. This can be someone who's coming towards you very soon. I have no idea what we're going to see in today's reading. But from what I'm seeing based off the past, as you can see in this row right here, Spirit's telling me you're definitely involved with a soulmate, if not twin flame. Okay? And this person may have strong earth in their chart or fire in their chart. Either you or they have that in their chart, okay? Because Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is um, really standing out to me at this time. And also, I wanted to mention for some of you, it could also be another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Now, from what I'm seeing here, Spirit is showing me this connection was mutually felt immediately upon meeting this person you felt this connection with them right away i feel like it started off slowly i feel like you started talking communicating texting this person pretty routinely pretty regularly but the sneaky or tricky thing about this situation was somebody <clears throat> was still dealing with an ex issue Okay, Spirit said here what was going on when the time of you, the time of you meeting or what happened in the past or, you know, what was going on at that time was an ex, okay, there was an ex involvement. This can be on your side or this can be on theirs. This was definitely discussed, fought, or talked about. So the time has come to clear your energy. Then we had the King of Cups with the Empress. Now I'm really getting that this empress was now on the beginning to starting her new life this could be you this could be them gender really doesn't matter in this situation but i'm getting here there's two people who cross paths were very much in alignment with each other but somebody still have baggages they were still trying to release or disconnect from a situation or a person when you two met and it may have created a little bit of problem and or friction in the situation but I feel like you picked up on that Pisces and I feel like you were aware of this person's past if this wasn't your past okay choose and assign the roles as they fit for you because I'm seeing here with the seven of swords reverse and the knight of pentacles this does really talk about I'm ready to move forward Okay, there's nothing about my history, about my past that you're not aware of. Yeah, it's not something I'm proud of. It's not something that I wish I was dealing with at this time. But it's kind of like this person saying, I have nothing to hide with the Seven of Swords Reverse. But the Seven of Swords Reverse and the Knight of Pentacles just show me they weren't completely healed. In fact, they were healing. And maybe this is why they decided to take things more slowly with you. Because they were going from one place to another. And where they were going was towards you okay but I don't, I'm not getting this rushed energy I am not getting somebody who's you know a hundred percent and it started thick and heavy I'm not getting that I'm getting somebody who's acting a little bit more cautious someone who wanted to take their time slow and steady was how they liked it this person was more practical they don't necessarily have to be an earth sign but I'm getting this person had a lot of things going on in their life at this time when the two of you met now both of you guys were very supportive of each other and you guys could not have been in better alignment and could not have been more in love with each other or each other's energy i'm not sure this became a situation where you two were a couple right away okay but it was definitely starting to feel like you definitely were with the king of cups and the empress and the two of cups this tells me this is true love right here this tells me there was definitely this feeling of love compassion nurturing and love between the two of you some of you this person could have had children from a previous relationship 
And I'm seeing also somebody here who felt this Two of Cups connection but could not readily vocally express it to their person. However, your person definitely felt the same thing too. But they were dealing with something else or you were, okay? There was another situation going on in the background here. I feel like with the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, you know, we can take this slowly. You know, as long as I'm seeing that you are willing to work on it, as long as you're kind of keeping me in the loop and letting me know what's going on, yeah, we can decide to move at your pace. You know, I don't want to rush you, make you feel uncomfortable is kind of what one person is saying. And they were kind of moving slowly towards you is kind of what I'm getting. And it wasn't because they didn't want to just go full head. You know, I feel like this person did fall head over heels for you. I feel like a lot of you guys did pick up on that. But because there was something going on from their past, okay, this could be they were healing from something really toxic. They may have had some ex issue, okay? They could have still been living with that person. They could have been going through a separation, a divorce, or they were just really fresh off of getting out of a relationship at the time when you two met. You guys may have actually known each other's mutual friends or may have actually known their ex, okay? Or, you know, there's just like this uh, feeling of somebody here needing to move on from a particular situation. That was what they were doing. I'm definitely seeing here slowly yet steadily. Okay, now in the present moment, what I'm getting here is you guys are getting to know each other. There has been this guard up is what Spirit is saying right now. Both of you are not expressing your feelings. And somebody here is a little bit pretentious, very guarded at this time and not really expressing their love to you. You may feel that sometimes that they're just being really cold and sometimes it makes you even wonder, are they lying about how they truly feel? Is it their ex that they still really want to be with or is there somebody from their past that they're not quite over just yet? Because there's something here that tells me if this isn't you thinking that, this is them thinking that. Because we do have an ex situation and spirit saying here, getting to know each other with the Seven of Swords. Someone's feeling like, you know, I don't really know what's going on with my partner these days. Something's changed. <clears throat> Okay, so I am getting that Pisces, as much as you want to reveal yourself, as much as you want this person to come towards you, as much as you want to be there for this person, part of you is taking a step back. I feel like you kind of retracted, retracted your energy from this person. You've been very mentally conflicted lately whether or not you want to continue. You're not feeling that love. You're not feeling that nurture. You're not feeling adored like you used to, however it used to be. It wasn't the same before. It was the Two of Cups. Now we are at the Five of Swords. Let's take a look at your person's energy. Okay. So things have now gone from the past to here. Things have kind of maybe slowed down. Okay. Sex may have not been the same as used to. The romance and the chemistry may have fallen off. Maybe when you guys communicate now is very short, very brief. It's almost very rushed. But you know, this person definitely has not let you go. This person, I don't know if they are communicating, whether this person told you, you know, I have a lot on my plate right now. I'm not sure if we should do this. It may have really sent mixed vibes or signals to you, but I'm getting here. This person is really confused as to what they want to do because I'm still seeing they're spying on your energy and they're still wondering if this Pisces is still, you know, if this Pisces single, is this Pisces dating somebody else? Is this Pisces still thinking of me? All right, going into the future, we have the situation calls for you to have faith and trust. All right, so we definitely have a situation here where two people are now not seeing eye to eye and there couldn't be trust issues in the making. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not sure, you know, if I can take, if I can trust this person, if I should take a step forward. And we have also the Nine of Cups, the Wish card. Pisces, you are going to have your wish fulfilled, okay? This is definitely your wish fulfillment, but I am definitely seeing somebody here who's very guarded right now. Somebody who's really wanting a situation, who's really wanting a person, but the way they're coming off and the way they're expressing it, it couldn't have been any more opposite, okay? And I don't know, there's just some tension right now going on between the two of you. It's interesting how you guys both have a lot of pentacles here. 
you're also very occupied with work and so are they but both of you are kind of minding your own business doing your own thing right now someone here is like you know i'm not sure if this is worth the investment should this keep continuing or should i just go about my own way and mind my own business but the issue here is both of you guys are pretending like it doesn't bother you when it very much does and both of you guys are really wanting to reach out to the other person and reveal your most inner selves to each other but there's a lot of pretense here there's a lot of you know just um, acting as if everything is okay pretending like you guys are better off apart pretending like it doesn't really bother you but something very much really does and i feel like this has something to do with the marriage something to do with trust and something to do with um just how they used to be. So you can see here with the Two of Cups, the Empress, the King of Cups, the, um, it's just everything here from the way it started to where it is now. It feels like right here, definitely somebody's having a bit of trust issues and maybe somebody's trying to decide, is this the end of it? Where does it go from here? You know, because we're not getting any younger. I really want to commit to somebody that's worthwhile and worth my time. I don't want to, you know, someone seeing here is it worth my investment at this time. But whoever is thinking about, okay, maybe I should just go my own separate ways, whether that's you or that's them, or maybe whoever that said, maybe we need a break or let's just, you know, um, maybe this isn't the right time for us to get into anything serious. This person saying something that they don't necessarily feel it's what they truly want. That's why I'm getting here with the Seven of Swords with the marriage. Because they really want to be together with you. But then something here is... Um, it's like... It's not being said. So they're like, Spirit's saying, trust this. Trust your intuition. What is seemingly on the surface or what is has manifested or was spoken to you your intuition is really being tested right now because what someone's saying is really not matching how they're feeling so you're trying to figure out what do you trust do you trust your intuition or do you trust what this person's saying or do you trust what you're seeing right now because everything that you're seeing everything that you're feeling is just almost going polar opposite directions now we do have spirits advice saying you will get your wish you will have your wish this is wish grant granted card so i am seeing here pisces follow your intuition you are very well aware of what's going on with this person if you've been feeling their energy lately this person is really wanting to come back but i'm seeing here they're not saying it or expressing it and on the surface whether this is you seeing somebody on social media acting very happy acting as if they moved on acting as if their life is great something here spirit saying you know very well deep inside what this person's feeling at this time okay all right let's go ahead and get one more advice if you guys want a personal reading to see you know where are you where are you and your person at right now are you guys on the same page and why is this person hiding their feelings from you if you are the pisces who i'm picking up at this time feel free to reach out to me i do have a lover special um, for $33.33 if you guys want to take advantage of that <clears throat> so please email me if you guys want a personal reading done it won't be read privately and it will be recorded on video like you guys see it here but you'll have to email me so I can email you guys the instructions on how to book a reading. I am kidding here. Somebody is almost tempted to walk away. Okay. Someone's trying to walk away or move on from the situation. <clears throat> there is still a contractual agreement on the table that someone needs handling. That could be the influence or the reason why there are frictions right now in this relationship. But with this contract, it's also the sign of Libra. 
It's also the card of balance. I feel like somebody here is like, I've already taken initiative to reach out. I feel like I've done everything it is I could to express how I feel. I feel like I have already reached out to them and every time, you know, I feel like I've done my part. I just feel like I need this person to show up and do, and show me, you know? This is definitely what... I'm getting from somebody here. Now, your person is still dealing with a lot emotionally at this time. They're having a tower moment, Pisces. Okay? There's something getting really stirred up within them. This is, you know, how they're feeling internally. Their mental process, their emotional process, it's all like wreaking havoc right now. They don't know what it is that they feel. I feel like right here, Pisces, this person never thought that you would change their life or their world as much as you, you changed it you know they never thought that they would have to make such a critical decision they never thought they've fallen for you so heavily like this they thought they never thought you mean both so much to them that is making such a create create such an impact on this person that they're having a tower moment for some of you this person may be someone who's already walked away from you and having to deal with these emotions internally and, and in solitude at this time is kind of what I'm getting. And you feel like you want to reach out to them. Some of you, you know, you kind of want to say something to them, but very mentally conflicted at this time is what I'm getting. Wow, Pisces. There is definitely something big going on between you and this person. If you want an extended reading to this, if your energy is one that I'm picking up here, um, when Spirit's letting me see, this is what I'm seeing. Feel free to reach out and we'll read for you personally. Okay, Pisces, you can find my email in the description box below. Other than that, this is where I'm going to end your video. <sighs> Don't want to make it too long, but let's go ahead and see. I feel like Spirit is showing me this person's having. There's a lot going on within them right now, okay? And you may have picked up on this. You may have picked up on this, but don't feel like they've expressed it. And you want this person to be more open to you, to come to you and say what's on their mind and just be more, you know, give you some TLC. That's what I'm getting. Because you feel like they distance themselves from you. And you've expressed that. But look at this. You, oh my god, I'm reading for either a soulmate or a twin flame. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. You can read this person's mind. Okay. I'm definitely getting that. Okay, Pisces. I love this reading. Beautiful reading. There's definitely something going on internally within this person right now. If you want to go ahead and look into it. Um, contact me. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely did. I hope this video helped, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Pisces.